How's it going everyone? It's Sam. It seems like people that are shorting Bitcoin are getting squeezed right now. Institutions are betting against Bitcoin and it's hurting them. You can see here Bitcoin pushing up to 69,000. Let me show it over here. This is something that we've talked about for a while. Like since last week, we we're talking about how this reverse head and shoulders could occur. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a big push. We broke down or we break we broke above this downtrend line. And it does seem like we could be moving up, possibly back up to all time highs. Now, I want to talk about this, what exactly is happening. I want to talk to you about a couple of projects I'm paying attention to right now that I think could do extremely well. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this as soon as I make them. And there is going to be a link to Marjex underneath the video where you can start trading on leverage. If you're interested, you can put in longs and shorts. You can trade a bunch of different assets. They just did this revamp of their platform. It looks really sleek. Uh, I also have heard they're working on some new features, so be on the lookout for that. But there's no KYC, which means you can just put in an email, a password, check their terms and conditions, and you can start trading within a few minutes. There's also going to be a link down there to CoinW as well, which is another great platform that you can start using to trade spot cryptocurrency and trade futures as well. They also let you in on a trading group that gives free signals, gives free trading sessions, free teaching. When you use the link underneath the video, you can get access to that. Now, one of the best indicators out there for Bitcoin, the full moon. <laughs> it's crazy, but it does seem like there are some big pumps after full moons occur. Who knows what that is? Uh, the other day, and I'm not someone that really believes in this kind of stuff, but the other day, uh, we were driving down the road and there, there were all kinds of crazy people driving around, people running into the street or running on the street or people going way too fast or, or way too slow. But it was, it was funny because I said, I wonder if it's a full moon. And you know what? It was. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy how some of that stuff works. But yeah, we do have a full moon, which typically leads to a pump if you want to believe in that. Now, what's probably happening is just that institutions and individuals are betting on Bitcoin. They're betting either that it's going to go up significantly or down significantly. You can see here some institutions think that we're going to see a 15 per, or a $15,000 drop and some think we're going to see a $20,000 increase. I actually showed that in the last video. The number of options that are bullish moving a month ahead are really high. Like a lot of people think we're going to hit $80,000, $100,000 and even more uh, on Bitcoin. So we're probably seeing a bit of a squeeze and part of it could be what I talked about in yesterday's video is that we could see kind of a change in rhetoric or a change in the narrative in that we could have more net inflows for Bitcoin. You can see IBIT with really strong volume about 600 uh, million compared to GBTC, which is at 200 and 73 million with FBTC actually above it, 290. I, I said in that video yesterday that a lot of people are probably going to be going to their golf course talking about how much money they made for Bitcoin, but then also talking to their friends about how there is a bit of a pullback. So, you know, if you were wanting to get into Bitcoin, this is probably the time to do it. And they're going to their financial advisors or they're going on the brokerage and they are buying a Bitcoin on Monday. This is something that we consistently see. Now, I do think uh, we're going to continue to see inflows, whether we see outflows today or not. Uh, I would expect us to see a net inflow day, but uh, I would not be surprised if we have some net outflows in the future. But I think we're going to overall turn back to net positive uh, on Bitcoin. And when the price goes up, it's much easier to see inflows, whether it's a causation or a correlation, I'm not exactly sure. But obviously, when we see more inflows, we see the price go up. And when we see price go up, we see more inflows because people feel FOMO. So it's just overall good when we are seeing inflows. And when the price goes up, which is what we're seeing here today, which, you know, like I said, this could be causing some short sellers to get squeezed into buying back their positions or just closing out their short positions on different leverage exchanges. Could also be that we saw this uh, two days ago. Biden approved a $1.2 trillion US spend spending bill. And where is this going? Is it going to help out uh, people that need it? Or is it going to provide some kind of benefit to us? Well, I don't know. This is up to you to decide. But about three quarters of this bill is for the Defense Department, including a raise for US troops. But that's $900 billion that's going to uh, the defense budget from this $1.2 trillion. 
and we continue to see more and more inflation. We continue to see more and more debt. We're around $34.5 trillion uh, in debt for the U.S., which is growing at a trillion dollars every three or four months at this point. Uh, it might even be two months. I'm not exactly sure because it seems like it's accelerating, obviously. Uh, but it is growing really fast, which shows that there's still going to be more and more demand for Bitcoin because there's no bottom to the value of the U.S. dollar. Like it's going to continue to have inflation. It's going to continue to become less and less, uh, less and less valuable, which means that there's no top to the value of Bitcoin because if the U.S. dollar is going to continue to go down and every other currency is going to continue to go down, well, Bitcoin is going to continue to go up. Now, obviously, during the next bull run, there are going to be a lot of smaller cryptos that go absolutely insane. One that I'm watching is Black for Exchange Network. It's actually a layer one EVM core blockchain that's implemented its proprietary proof of stake authority consensus algorithm. Their primary focus is centered around the development and delivery of some products and services to the community that obviously the community wants. Now, they've already done a lot of transactions already. They've already got a lot of wallet addresses, 116,000 total blocks, over 7 million total transactions, almost 1.2 million. Average block time, just five seconds. And you can see the transactions per day climbing up. Now, they were audited by Certec and they have zero unresolved findings, 37 resolved, four partially resolved, one acknowledged. So they were able to continue to build. And this is from over a year ago that they've uh, been audited by Certec. So they've been building for a long time. Now you might be saying, okay, well, what does the BXN token do? Well, it's the native token of the Blackfort exchange, a layer one blockchain. It's used as a utility token for transactions on the Blackfort network which includes the exchange itself as well as many other services and products offered by the platform. Holders of BXN can use the token to pay for fees associated with using the Blackfoot exchange, such as trading fees and withdrawal fees. BXN can also be used to access certain features and benefits that are only available to holders of the token, such as reduced fees, etc. Obviously, during a bull market, a lot of these cryptos that you might not have heard of before are going to pull liquidity away from some of the legacy assets. This has about three days until the time of listing announcement at the time of this recording. Maybe it's already a little bit further along. It will be further along, obviously, by the time you watch this. So if you want to check this out, I will leave links to it underneath the video. They are a partner of the channel. Always do your own research. Make sure that you understand how this all works, how the nodes work, what they're trying to do as a company, and then you might want to invest in it. So definitely check it out underneath the video. Okay, now I feel like I have to cover this as well. Robert Kiyosaki is someone that's very outwardly bullish uh, about Bitcoin and about precious metals, about gold, silver. And he just posted this. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I'm a, I am buying 10 more Bitcoin before April. Why? The halving. If you can't afford a whole Bitcoin, you may want to consider buying one-tenth of a Bitcoin via the new ETFs or Satoshis. If the Bitcoin process works as designed, you may own a whole Bitcoin by the end of the year. I expect a hundred I expect Bitcoin to be a hundred K by the end of September twenty twenty four. Now Robert is someone that's very bullish about Bitcoin. He posted this and it's got over a million views in less than twelve hours. The crazy thing is though, he's a smart guy, right? He's written one of the best selling books, probably the best selling book on finance. And yet He's completely wrong about Bitcoin. Like he doesn't really understand it, it seems like, from this post. Basically, he's saying here, he's buying Bitcoin because of the halving. Okay, that's a fundamental bullish thing. I get it. He did spell halving wrong. But he said, if you can't afford a whole coin, you may want to consider buying one-tenth of a coin. Okay, still pretty good advice if you if you think Bitcoin's going to go up. You can buy uh, one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, in case you didn't know that. And you can also just buy a few dollars via the new ETFs. But he goes on to say, if the whole Bitcoin process works as designed, you may own a whole coin, a whole Bitcoin by the end of the year by buying one tenth of a Bitcoin today. Uh, this doesn't really make sense because unless you were to continue buying another 0.9 Bitcoin, you would not own a whole Bitcoin. The halving just for anyone that doesn't know, just cuts down on the new supply. So right now there's 900 Bitcoin being mined a day. So there's an inflation rate uh, that's going to be cut down 
by 50%. There's going to be 450 new Bitcoin a day. Now, that doesn't affect the prior supply of Bitcoin. That doesn't give you double the amount of Bitcoin. It's not like a stock split where if you own 100 shares and they do a two for one stock split, you get 200 shares that are worth half as much. That's not how it works. The Bitcoin is going to be worth exactly the same. You're not getting double. You're not getting 10 times more. You're, you have the same amount of Bitcoin. It's just that there's less new Bitcoin coming to the market. So less is being sold. So the value of the Bitcoin typically moves up. So I'm not exactly sure what he's talking about, but it is funny that someone that can be so bullish on Bitcoin that has so many followers that has a lot of money in Bitcoin, most likely still doesn't really understand the having, which shows you, hey, we I don't want to say we're early because, you know, if you had been at 15,000, you were early. Now we're at like all time highs or right near all time highs. But it does show you there are still people that have no idea really what's happening with Bitcoin, why it's so bullish, why it continues to gain in value. Now, as you know, I am very heavily invested in Bitcoin, but I am also investing into altcoins. One thing that I'm going to invest in here very soon is Rainmaker. So Rainmaker is an interesting cryptocurrency. It's one that I've actually been playing around with recently. They actually allow you to train AI and get rewarded in their token. Uh, they are going to do an IDO launch on Tencent on April 2nd. So Tencent is a cryptocurrency that I hold as well. I made videos on it and how to stake on Tencent and be able to get access to their launch pad. So if you want to see that video, you can search my financial friend Tencent. Uh, but you can basically stake your cryptocurrency or stake your Tencent tokens. And then you get access to launches like this, like Rainmaker. Now, <clears throat> they've done a lot of launches in the past. And they've done quite well. So Ivanpay was the most recent one. It went up 700% to all-time high. Uh, Alvara did a 2,000%. Uh, a bunch of other ones did even more, like Fame MMA, 30,000%. Uh, MetaHero, 16,800%. And they do have a one-week claim-back policy. So if you don't like how the token launch goes, you can just get your initial USDT out, which I don't think anyone's really doing because all these launches have done well so far but if you do want to check this out like i said i have been playing around with it basically you can download the app from the app store it's free you can validate and mine coin with two eyes coin tokens uh, basically you just go in there type in what kind of 3d image you want to create or uh, they have different ais uh, that you can go create images with and then you can just tag different parts of the image and then you get rewarded in token. So it's really cool because every single AI needs to be trained. Why not get rewarded to train it? They've had over 100,000 people uh, download the app. I think it's actually like 200,000. They said recently they have over 150,000 validators worldwide and counting and now contributing uh, their compute power and earning rewards at the same time. So again, you can go check out, I'll leave links to this underneath the video in case you wanna check it out. Uh, Rainmaker, which is going to be launching on Tencent. I, I, like I said, I'm going to be investing in this. It's not financial advice, but I do think it's pretty cool. Uh, and I think it definitely has some momentum behind it. Now, like I said, this is an interesting time for crypto, an interesting time for Bitcoin as we are approaching the next halving. We don't have too long until the halving occurs, about 25 days. And it does seem like we're seeing some inflows today. I mean, I would assume this is what's happening. We're seeing inflows and then we're seeing shorts liquidated uh, because of the inflows, which obviously is causing the market to go up. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, if you want to start trading on leverage, you can do so over on Margex. You can also do it on CoinW, Blowfin, BYDFi. I'll leave links to all these underneath the video. And you can also check out the links to Black for Exchange as well underneath the video. Appreciate them for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.